Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Oder, board certified emergency physician with another clinical case uh, of radiologic interpretation. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series. Please like, comment, and give me feedback on how can I do these videos better and whether or not you're getting any um, learning out of it, you know. This case is about 25 year old male who presents to emergency department with a chief complaint of sudden right-sided chest pain and with respirations, that means it's pleuritic, pleuritic, it hurts every time he breathes. On exam, pain is not reproducible. You push around his chest, you can't make it hurt when you push on him. Lungs were clear, bilateral, both lungs sounded the same. Normal breath sounds, that means no wheezing, no ronchi, no rouse, and the oxygenation is normal. So essentially, Normal exam, normal vital signs, patient had the sudden onset of right-sided chest pain that is pleuritic. In other words, it hurts to take a deep breath. This is the patient's x-ray, and it basically looks grossly normal. But you know, we're discussing the case, so there's got to be something on it. So let's do a little analysis. Again, we've done this um, alignment, um, penetration with the x-ray. You count the ribs. Uh, the heart size and so on. Everything looks good with that, right? We know he's hurting on the right, so we kind of zoom in to see when you are on a computer or on a radiology viewing box, you kind of focus on that area. I'm gonna tell you, initially this x-ray looks normal and based on this x-ray, I probably would have missed that diagnosis, but if you zoom in, and of course you put a whole bunch of arrows, then you know the diagnosis. Let's look at it in detail. Look at the line right there. So now let's go ahead and remove that again so you can see again. So the little faint line, you can see the long markings disappearing after that line right there. So all this is air in between the long tissue, which is here, and the chest wall. That is called a pneumo, pneumo as in air, thorax, air in the thorax. Now, there's always air in the lungs, right? But no, this is abnormal because it's on the place that it shouldn't be. So that's a pneumothorax. And a lot of times these pneumothoraxes are just like that, or maybe even smaller, what's called apical pneumothorax, where it's just like that. So they're very hard to see. One, one thing you can do is order inspiratory and expiratory views. If you're highly suspicious, there might be a pneumo patient has a typical story, but the extra looks good. You do inspiratory, expiratory, and that does is it, it moves that line of pneumothorax, make it a little more pronounced, makes it easier to see. So I do recommend doing that. Let's say you do that and nothing, then do a CT of the chest. That's obviously you can see definitely even much smaller pneumothoraces. Uh, here's a, a more clear uh, pneumothorax. You can see long markings all the way here. This is all good. If you look at this, this is almost obvious. You can see a very sharp, perfect line right there. This is a large pneumothorax. Uh, not yet a tension pneumothorax. You do not define tension pneumothorax by the x-ray finding. Tension pneumothorax is defined by physiology, patients hypotensive, tachycardia, unstable, hypoxia, etc. Um, so you do not define tension pneumothorax by the x-ray findings, although there are some findings that suggest tension, like for example, if the mediastinal structures in chest wall uh, on the chest and the heart are being pushed contralaterally, then that would be a sign of tension. And of course, in physical exam, there are other things you look for um, to evidence the clinical nature of tension pneumothorax. Treatment for something like this, you gotta decompress them, you gotta put a tube in the chest wall like this and drain it out. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I actually have a video showing a pneumothorax decompression procedure. Hope you enjoy that. And um, yeah, that's it. So if you are suspicious of a pneumothorax, do obtain inspiratory and expiratory films. Sometimes you can do an ap um, apulo apex lordotic film which is a special angle to which makes it more um see you can see it when they're apical pneumothorax and they're hard to see so that's it for today guys um thank you for watching bye, -bye.